So in today's video, I'm going to talk about part-time jobs and how to qualify for a mortgage. Or maybe you have two jobs, whether both are part-time or one's part-time, the other's full-time. And then the other part is we will talk about seasonal jobs. My name is Miles Pitcher. I own Superior Lending. I'm located in Utah, but I can do loans across all 50 states. So we're in this economy we have right now, we totally have clients who are just picking up some extra bucks doing DoorDash or Uber, or maybe they have a Etsy shop. Uh, anytime we're talking employment that's less than 30 hours a week, that's part time. When I say secondary employment, that means that you have two jobs. And that could either be, like I said, a full time job and part time job together, or two part time jobs. Seasonal work are people who have a start and a stop date on their job. Maybe the, like they are a river guide for the summer or a ski patrol or a teacher that uh, teaches summer school. Those are seasonal jobs. And I'm going to run you through some guidelines real quick. I know this is guideline heavy, but I'll summarize it by saying the typical is that you have to have done this for two years to be able to count that income. I'm going to show you the exceptions to this, and that's why we'll dive into the details here. Because whether you're doing a Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, which are conventional loans, FHA, VA, or USDA, they all have a few different nuances to there, and some of them can play to your advantage. So let me, let's get started. Fannie Mae conventional loan. You got to have a two-year history. Do you have to have the same part-time job the whole two years? No, you can switch jobs, but the gap in between the jobs needs to be less than a month. Now, if you have what we call compensating factors where maybe you have lots of reserves, your debt ratios are super low, we may be able to look at that 12 to 24 months and get the underwriter to accept that. Seasonal, um, they, they're not, they don't have a lot of detail here, but we, we need to see that it really truly is a seasonal job and that you're reporting this on your tax returns. Freddie Mac will give us more details on this, which is also another, the other conventional type of loan. So Freddie Mac, part-time secondary, everything looks really the same as Fannie Mae, okay? On seasonal, on this one, we have to prove that there is a reasonable expectation you're going to be rehired if you're getting this loan during the off season. Um, for example, if you are a summer school teacher, we have to have a letter that says next summer you'll be hired back. FHA. So FHA, two-year history for part-time and second job. They are going to average that income over 24 months. But here's one of the differences that's cool is if you've had an, a documented pay increase, they will take the current rate and average it over 12 months. That's a cool feature in FHA. <clears throat> FHA is seasonal. Um, they don't have any hours requirements. They want you to have worked in the same line for two years. They are averaging the income over 24 months. A um, little more info here is that FHA is cool in that if during the off season you take unemployment income, they will document that and average it over 24 months so that the unemployment income actually can help you qualify for a home. All right, VA loans, veteran loans, um, part-time or secondary loans here. Uh, the One of the main differences here is that they want to make sure that the that this doesn't conflict with your hours of duty or the requirement on your full-time job. No other of our loan types require that. So kind of cool that VA does that. Um, seasonal, they are what we call silent on this. They don't even mention it. So what that means is the lender has the ability to interpret and do sometimes a very common sense underwrite on it. Does this make sense? A lot of times the lenders will look to other loan types and copy their guidelines 
like for Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae. But this is one of the reasons why I love being a broker is that I have 40 different lenders or so that I work with, and all of them will have little differences on the VA loan seasonal income. So I can find the right spot for my clients on getting the VA loan if they're seasonal income. USDA has some cool things in it. Check this one out. Part-time secondary income, one-year history is all you have to have, where all the other ones require two-year history. And you don't have to document that the income is going to con continue at all. They just, if you show the history on it, they assume it's going to continue. Seasonal, you do have to show two years of the history. Um, and during the off season, if you're applying during the off season, you do have to verify that you will be returning to the job. So again, my name's Miles Pitcher. We are always happy to help anyone with scenarios, questions, um, regardless of where you're located. We love being a resource to people. So feel free to reach out to my team. There's my contact info. Thanks for watching the video.